Hey Hobby World, Zach and Porter back with another mailbox video. That's right, our guy Cotter hooked us up again, and actually we had a stack of stuff he dropped off in the mailbox, but we're also going to show some cool stuff he handed off to us on Saturday at the Oak Creek Card Show, and that's a nice tease, because coming up this week we will have some recap videos mm -hmm. for our time at Oak Creek. It was really cool too, we got to bring our friend Kyle, who lives down in Chicago, and it was his first card show in 30 years, and we got to... Meet up with Cotter right away, and he handed us a stack of cards and some really cool memorabilia. And one thing that actually counts on TCDB. So it's a 1997 tin, you can hear there, with Albert Bell on the cover from Donruss Preferred. And these are in TCDB, so it does count. And inside the tin were two really cool pins. So we got this one, and we got this one with Curse of C. So we love that stuff. And then... Uh, he gave me some cards combination from uh, the card show and then a mailbox drop-off. We got a great Golden Moments. I think that's the 01 Tops. Uh -huh. Then we've got an 86 Donruss Diamond King from Harold Baines. A 1990 Donruss from Mr. Guillen. Then another unique Frank for the PC. A Pacific Crown Royale. So nice shine there. And then a bunch of really cool kind of Broderish cards. Those are cool. Of Bo Jackson. So we got this one with a purple border, and all of these are on TCDB, so they do count. There are a couple sets that aren't on there, and I'm not taking the time to add them. We got this Bo Jackson card, uh, another one here with him batting, uh, and then this is a beauty from his Auburn days, the Superman look, and then this is part of a set called Bono's, and then multiple different sports. You had baseball, football, horse Tennis. racing, just a bunch of unique stuff. So those were fantastic. And then what did you have over from uh, your stack? Here is a 2021 Topps Heritage Jose Abreu. And you may not know this. You had one in your set and not in your binder. So that oh. will go in your binder. Here is a 2023 Topps Heritage stamps. Yep. And I think those are like the Venezuelan stamps. Yeah. That's what you called them. And there's one with uh, Pudge. From the Boston Red Sox, I, I still have my want list. Stars of the MLB. Here's a 2022 Topps Dylan Cease. 2021 Topps Chrome of Garrett Crochet. And that's the Benny, Benny Baller. Benny Baller variation. Yeah, the uh, B up by the Chrome. Right you can kind of see it there. Here is two 2023 Topps Chromes. A Carlos Perez and Andrew Benintendi. Yeah, and over the weekend, uh, with them not picking up T.A., Clevenger, Yaz, Hendricks, all these options, I mean, the White Sox are going to look very different. So some new guys will be uh, looking to pick up. This is a cool James Beard Blue Sapphire from Bowman. And then on to um, the full mailbox drop-off thing. So here are two rookie cards. One for Oscar Colas. Who did get some time up in the big leagues this last year. And then this next guy has been doing really, where, really well in the Arizona League. Uh, he is maybe a future shortstop. I believe he's a shortstop. Uh, that we might be looking at replacing T.A. with. I don't know if he's ready yet. He is yet, a though. shortstop. Yeah, that's what I thought. Here's a Mark Burley 2004 Donruss. This is out of 1349. Yeah, very cool card there from the Absolute. Here is a Charles Comiskey. Yeah, and we don't see many Comiskey cards, especially that shine like this. This is awesome. It's got kind of a, what is that, like that cracked, that, ice. cracked ice look to it. Here is a Justin Fields. Hopefully he'll be back playing on Thursday. Here are, um, here is a Carlton Fisk. Yeah, from 1990 Fleer. And then he also hooked us up with a bunch of TTM autos. Uh, I'm going to let you show those. I'll do some more of the Junk Wax guys. So a Tom Drees from that same 1990 Fleer set. Then we've got Ken Patterson on the 89 Tops. Got a Mike Huff from 1992 Fleer. A Ray Searage from 88 Fleer. And then a really cool auto from Bill Long on the 1987 The Rookies from Donruss. And then these were great because you love both these guys. Nikki Delmonico. I think he's a coach, or he runs one of the minor league teams for the White Sox right now. And Mike Rodolfo. Here is a home run K-1 
King, Paul Canerco. Yeah, another unique card for the Canerco PC. And then a guy that we are so much missing. Jake Berger patch card. Yeah, it was so great to see him have Jake all that Berger success Otto. with the uh, Marlins after he was traded. And Dad and I always joke because we get this player too much. Well, one card of this player. Yes, yeah. It's like everybody drops the one with him and Ivan Rodriguez. It's like yeah. a, a kid's card. And this is, our, I think, our first card Tarajito of him. Tarajito Iguchi. It's our first gold cup. It's our first card of him that isn't part of that. And this is a variation with that red background. Out of uh, so, $4.99. Yeah, so that was numbered out of $4.99. So a very cool, unique card for the White Sox PC. Yohan Moncada. Yeah, that's like the Hyperwave Sapia. The Loin. Some, some more Tops Chrome from 2023. Leary. Yeah, Blue Sapphire. And he finds some great cards that we mm -hmm. don't have. Luis Robert Stadium Club. Yep, you did not have that. The Chrome. Stadium Club Chrome. Here's a Luis Robert Tops Heritage. Yeah, that's a beautiful card. One of our shining moments from this last year. I hope they don't waste Lou Bob's talent. Here's another one. Here's an Andrew Vaughn rookie. Yeah, Bowman variation. Tops Gallery. And last but not least, a Big Bang from Capstone of Jose Abreu. Yeah, so some great cards we got uh, this past weekend from Cotter at the Oak Creek Card Show. And another mailbox drop off. We got to give him a bunch of cards too in person. So... Uh, we were thankful to do that. That's always great to see him because mm -hmm. a lot of our trades are just, uh, hey, there's cards in your mailbox, grab it. Yeah. We, we never really get to see them. So that was awesome. Uh, yeah, we're going to drop, I think, two or three videos in the next couple of days here and get them out of the way. A bunch of awesome stuff we found in the bargain boxes at Oak Creek. It was a fantastic time. want to thank you all for watching and subscribing. Bye-bye.